Kasi ano po siguro na lang ang, mag ang magiging legacy nitong avenue na ito kay, uh, kay sa mga na gusto pong makilala sa si Senator Miriam? Eh, para ipakita sa mga taong naniniwala sa kanya na ang prinsipyo at, at hikay niya ay tuloy-tuloy na nakikita naman natin na pinaniniwalaan ng mga taong na sumusuporta sa kanya. Mga ilang personal way, very happy about this ruling named after somebody sa mga icon of the governance. At sana maging inspirasyon siya sa mga leaders ng ating Nutson na yung kanyang legacy, yung kanyang pag-iwalang takot, yung kanyang pag-ipaglaban sa mga uh, iwani, um, ipagpatuloy natin yan bilang mga leaders ng Quezon City. So I hope that um, this remaining will be an inspiration to leaders but also to the youth kasi yung talaga namang nagmamahal sa kanya ay yung mga kabataan. Kasi yung mga kabataan ay realistic, yung mga kabataan tunay na nakipaglaban para sa tama at siya yung naging modelo um, ng mga kabataan. So, um, I think that the youth are very happy about this renaming and I hope that um, this, this road being named after such an inspiring lady will continue to inspire our youth to fight for truth, to fight for what is right, and uh, he gets a lot to fight for honest governance. Kung paano uh, may inspire ang mga kabataan ngayon sa mga ideals ni Senator Miriam Santiago ngayon na itong buong stretch ng BIR and Agam Road have been renamed as Senator Miriam Santiago Avenue. Well, definitely the history about her won't stop. It's always started so in school. It's always been a good example even in my generation as Miriam the Santiago is. And it's always going to turn out into a, into a positive adjective. And you know, um, it's nothing but a blessing for our country. So how would this help the young ones is to believe that, you know, um, Changing something impossible is possible only if you have the perseverance, the heart, and the love for the country, which she showed. She's changed a lot of things for us. She's done a lot of things for us. And uh, definitely with the teachers knowing this, with the older, older people, you know, the adults knowing this, teaching the children, it, again, we all boil down to being a very good example to the youth or the future leaders to adapt.